All right, people, what's up? All right, so it's been a minute since I actually make videos because I don't really go through the process of trying to make a video. I don't know what I want to say. I don't want to, I don't know what I want to talk about. Sorry. Anywho. <laughs> so here's the thing. Currently, I know there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with Adobe. I've already said something about the whole Premiere Pro thing back in January, but it turns out it's a lot more, it's a lot worse than I thought it was. So, uh, it, if you look it up on YouTube, if you look it up anywhere, Adobe has been doing some pretty shady things with its customers, especially recently, especially with their, uh, need, their wanting to uh, generate AI uh, more so. So, I say, fuck it up. Second of all, I want to say this one particular thing right now. I have been playing Metroid Prime. I, I bought it on Friday. And 20 years ago, I tried to play Metroid Prime. Um, and it wasn't for me because I wasn't that much into first-person shooters. Now I'm into all type, all the different genres of... Um, now I'm into all the different genres of gaming. And what I realized is that I was wrong about Metroid Prime. Don't get me wrong, Metroid has always been one of my favorite series. But with Metroid Prime 4 coming out, I decided I wanted to try to play Metroid Prime. Now, Nintendo, I need y'all to do one particular fact. I need y'all to do one particular thing. I need y'all to come out with remasters of 2 and 3 as quickly as possible before hopefully before four comes out but you know if not as soon as possible that way guys like myself and other people who never got to play the actual Metroid Prime trilogy the original the actual trilogy before it became the quadrilogy uh a chance to play through the entire story Yes, you can look up the entire story on YouTube, but I want to play through it. Especially now that I've gotten so far into the game. Yes, I'm playing it for the first time, so it's not a hard mode. But, heck, I'm playing it on normal, and I'm doing a lot better than I initially thought I would be able to do. So, there is that. Uh, three, the next thing I want to talk about. The last thing I want to talk about. Oh, that's not the last thing I want to talk about. I'm still in the process of... Um, Vaping, like I, 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 like I know a lot of different like uh, streaming services don't like anybody vaping and all stuff. But I also don't like the disposable vapes. So what I like to do is get the actual mod. And yes, it may cost you a little bit more, but you know you get more for your buck. And I know, and I know a little bit more of what's going into um, the thing. The, the tank and all that stuff. I don't, I'm not worried about something being completely messed up. I can get a certain juice, certain juices that I like, and I can keep refilling it and all that stuff instead of just smoking off of whatever the vape is on that whole little thing. Now, me personally, I have been using uh, Geek Vape for a good, a considerable amount of time. However, I've noticed my mods have always gone messed up, and I'm a person who goes all over the place with my vape. But the recent tank I have, yes, I'm doing a little short tank, uh, short uh, vape tank uh, review. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people who vape, who also use it, this particular uh, tank, has realized the issue. Anytime, like, uh, if you get the Zeus tank, right, it seems to constantly leak, especially after you replace the coil for the first time. The first, the initial coil, perfectly fine. No leaks. The second you replace the coil, it's bad. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This particular tank, I have had to, I, I've bought juice and it has run out of juice. It's leaked into the bottom so many freaking times. And it can't leak into the bottom because that's where uh, the air that allows for um, you to um, bake your uh, juice goes in. Like, 
I could probably pull this off right now. And it shouldn't have that. Now, according to the website, according to the website, uh, when you see these tanks, it's supposed to be leak proof. And yet, it's not leak proof. Like, I've used dual coils, I've used regular mesh coil, uh, single mesh coils and all that stuff. It still doesn't work. Now, most people will get like a, what's the word? Uh, uh, most people get the drip tip type, type tanks. A lot of different uh, vapors do that where they just have to drip it and then they can vape for it for a little bit, but they always have to keep their, bot their juice bottle on that. When you're one like myself, who is constantly working, you love these little tanks right here so that you can actually keep vaping throughout the entire day. That, the Zeus tanks are no longer, are, are, are not it, I'm sorry. Uh, so, I'm, I hate to say this, but Geek Fake, I'm dropping it. Like, as soon as I get up enough money, I'm getting a different mod from a different company. And I'm going to see how that works. Hopefully, it's much better than uh, what you guys have been doing. I've actually sat by you guys for, like, the past, I don't know, five years of me vaping. But because I've been having so many issues with that, I went back to smoking cigarettes, which I shouldn't do i that's the main reason why i went to vaping so that i could vape and then eventually get myself to the point where i can stop i mean i even got myself to three milligrams uh when it comes to my juice oh not three milligrams but th uh yeah three milligrams of uh nicotine in it. and i was gonna start going to zero and then like you know leave myself and then eventually uh wean myself off the vape, but now I'm back to cigarettes, and now I'm going to end up having to go back to the little vaping thing for a good minute before I'm finally ready to get rid of vaping in general. That was the main reason why a lot of people went, uh, a lot of uh, people who smoked cigarettes went into vaping. They were trying to quit smoking. They were trying to find a way that they could quit smoking without going cold turkey, and Geek Vape is not helping with that whole thing. So, why, okay, this is the fourth and the last thing. So, I'm a huge fan. I was a huge fan of Letterkenny. Letterkenny, if you know, uh, ended with his last season. Uh, but they had the spinoff of Shorty. Uh, one of the characters played by Jerry Kiso, who actually created Letterkenny. Uh, he also created another show called Shorty. The main character of that he plays the main character of that uh, Shorzy was a character in Letterkenny who was always chirping on uh, uh, the hockey boys. <laughs> I forget what their names are at this point, but I've been watching Shorzy a lot, and it's such a good show. Uh, usually, it's about like I believe six episodes each season, but I've been watching it so far in the third season was such a great season. I just finished watching it. So beautiful. And it had me scared for a second because, well, you know, I want you guys to watch it, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. But let's just say certain things happened in Shorzy's life and it felt like it was about to be the end of the show. I swear to God, it better not be. Anyway, so I would implore you, if you have Hulu, Definitely check out Shorzy. It's a Canadian comedy uh, show that is just so hilarious. Shorzy is chirping against like every single person. It's hilarious. Uh, all the characters are pretty good. It has a decent story. Hopefully you get to watch it. Now, hopefully you heard everything I said, but I'm gonna go over this video one more time to like make sure that my sound was good. Uh, Cause you know, I'm doing this from my phone this time. But uh, I will see you guys in the next one. See you. Peace.